how to animate it a line like use a pencil drawing. This video will show you how to make these animated. Let's start it. Press X key then click delete. Press 7 key change to top view. Click add select grease pencil choose blank. Go to object interaction mode then click draw. Select circle. But you cannot draw anything. And here have a note it said no available frame for creating stroke. Don't worry go to here and switch on this button. Now we can create a circle. Hold the shift key. Create a perfect circle. Alright. Press enter. Go to object interaction mode then click edit mode. Select the circle. Go to overlays then click on the stroke direction. Now you see the green and red dots. The green color is start point and the red is end point. I decide the center point is the start and end point. Go to grease pencil click split. Move the cursor to this green dot. Press X key. Click points. Select these two points. Go to point select merge. Go to modifier properties panel. Click add modifier choose build. Go to object interaction mode then click object mode. Pull up the timeline panel. Press space bar. Check the strokes motion. Alright. Now try to switch the motion direction. Select circle. Press shift D key to duplicate object. Go to object interaction mode then click edit mode. Select these two points. Click stroke select switch direction. The green and red was switch. Go to object interaction mode then click object mode. Click this icon jump to first frame. Press space bar. Now you will see these two circles go to different direction. Alright. But now the strokes motion is too slow. Let adjust the setting. Select this one. Press shift D key to duplicate object. Select this one. Click this icon jump to first frame. Switch off the real time button. Click on the use factor. Click the white dot change to diamond. The first keyframe will display a orange dot. Pull the blue bar to 30th keyframe. Change the use factor number to 1. Click this diamond shape. Switch on the real time button. Click this icon jump to first frame. Press space bar. Now you will see these three animated circle different. Alright. Now create the animated rectangle shape. Click this icon jump to first frame. Click add select grease pencil choose blank. Go to object interaction mode then click draw. Select box then create a rectangle. Alright. Press enter. Go to object interaction mode then click object mode. Press G key. Move to center a little bit. Go to object interaction mode then click edit mode. Select all. Go to viewport overlays panel. Make sure the stroke direction had click on. Select this point. Go to grease pencil click split. Move the mouse cursor to here. Press X key. Click points. Select these two points. Go to point select merge. Go to modifier properties panel. Click add modifier choose build. Go to object interaction mode then click object mode. Press space bar. Wait. Move the mouse cursor to here. Right click select delete keyframe. Click this icon jump to first frame. Press space bar. Animated rectangle had done. Alright. Select this shape. Press shift D key to duplicate object. Click this icon jump to first frame. Go to modifier properties panel. Switch off the real time button. Go to object interaction mode then click edit mode. 
select these two points. Click stroke select switch direction. Click this icon jump to first frame. Go to object interaction mode then click object mode. Switch on the real time button. Press space bar. Now you will see these two rectangles go to different direction. But now the strokes motion is too slow. Alright. Select this one. Press Shift D key to duplicate object. Click this icon jump to first frame. Switch on the real time button. Click on the use factor. Click the white dot change to diamond. The first keyframe will display a orange dot. Pull the blue bar to 30th keyframe. Change the use factor number to 1. Click this diamond shape. Switch on the real time button. Click this icon jump to first frame. Press space bar. Now you will see these three animated rectangles different. Alright. Select the circle. Go to object data properties. Go to stroke section. Adjust thickness scale number. Now the circle stroke size has changed. Same action on this rectangle shape. Alright. Click this icon jump to first frame. Check the graphic motion. Alright. Click this icon jump to first frame. Click add select grease pencil choose blank. Go to object interaction mode then click draw. Select this draw icon. Draw a line what you like. Alright. Go to object interaction mode then click edit mode. Select all. Go to viewport overlays panel. Make sure the stroke direction had click on. Go to modifier properties panel. Click add modifier choose build. Go to object interaction mode then click object mode. Click this icon jump to first frame. Press space bar. Check the strokes motion. Alright. Press shift D key to duplicate object. Go to object interaction mode then click edit mode. Click stroke select switch direction. Click this icon jump to first frame. Go to object interaction mode then click object mode. Switch on the real time button. Press space bar. Now you will see these two strokes go to different direction. Alright. Now go to adjust the animated stroke speed mode. Press shift D key to duplicate object. Click this icon jump to first frame. Switch off the real time button. Click on the use factor. Click the white dot change to diamond. Pull the blue bar to 30th keyframe. Go to modifier properties panel. Change the use factor number to 1. Click this diamond shape. Switch on the real time button. Click this icon jump to first frame. Press space bar. Perfect. Thank you for watching and see you soon for another video.